Hello and welcome to Art Swarm episode 18. Art Swarm is an experimental arts video program where people are encouraged to create something on a theme, a video or a sound piece, something short or interesting new. Everything we showcase is something brand new. This is the first time you're going to be seeing it. It's a world premiere. That's what makes the show interesting. It's all about encouraging creativity. This week's theme is Seeds and we're going to begin with a musical piece by Andrew Williams which was the first video I was sent. Um, Andrew starts by playing a single note and then every so often he adds a second note, his rule being that he couldn't remove any notes until the end of the piece. So gradually it accumulates more and more music which repeats and repeats in loops. It's accompanied by a video of some germinating pea plants. Invisible Swish by Deborah Edgeley is a moving poem which compares the tattered flowers with tattered lives of people in a hospital. I really like the way that the video of the flowers and the other things in the scene add to the story almost like the seeds that created the tale. They were once seeds, thoughts, fusion division. A woman in a sky dressing gown, dirty fingernails clutch chosen tablets. Watch them bloom and freeze into dark flowers. Two young police check phones, watching a man on a trolley, hiding under a hold blanket, curled into a ball, praying. No shoes. Blackened feet, occasional shouts, handcuffs glisten, night petals. Teenager cradles his arms, an invisible sun searches for hospital empathy, grasps his phone as flashes of green and blue swish. He looks at his reflection. For company. And now our first submission which relates directly to gardening. This is Grandad's Allotment by Stephen Goodwin, a rhyming tale of childhood memory. Grandad's Allotment. On an early Sunday morning, when the sun had just arose, my mum ordered me to exit bed and don my warmest clothes, but I stubbornly turned over and pulled my warm duvet right up. I felt mum's eyes burning into me and turned to see that look. Okay, I said as from my bed I dressed myself quite quick. 
I'm coming now so I can go the allotments for a bit. Now Grandad was already there and he'd promised a surprise. Something I would not believe. Something new for my young eyes. As I approached my mind it raced. Just what could he have got? Something for me and him to do on our allotment plot. He reached inside his jacket pocket and from there he felt around until he produced three little seeds for me to plant into the ground. Well, I'm not going to lie to you, I thought he might be going mad. These seeds were nothing special. I felt I was being had. Grandad saw my face drop and whispered in my ear, Don't worry, lad, because what these are will make you glad that you are here, because these are magic seeds. There's nothing ordinary about them. Just plant them in the ground and then see what they become. So he took the seeds and buried them and splashed them with a drop of water to embed them. Just a splash, though. Not a lot. Then I waited, and I waited, but not much occurred. No magic seemed to happen. The ground, it never stirred. What makes these seeds so special? I asked Grandad to tell me. He took a knee, then whispered, Just wait, and you will see. We shared laughs and giggles as we worked hard on our plot. And as weeks went by, we kept an eye on our magically seeded spot. The cold days turned much warmer, and me and Grandad looked around. Our hard work turned up vegetables and flowers from the ground. We saw the magic seeds had grown into the most enormous plant. But I could not see anything magic. There was nothing to enchant. But Grandad said to me one day, just take a closer look. The fruit that's hanging from the vines, reach out and take a pluck. So I grabbed one, and bit it open, and some memories flooded in. It was like I could see a movie of my life with Grandad Glynn. You see, this was a memory bush of the most special kind. The fruit it bore projected movie memories vividly in my mind. I smiled as I ate the fruit. But I knew I never could have forgot the good times with my grandad on our special allotment plot. And Stephen has a YouTube channel for his children's rhymes entitled Stephen's Rhymes, which you may like to check out. Now we're going to continue with another Stephen, Stephen Pennell, who's created a poem all about connection and connections between people, how an idea can spread. The Gift by Stephen Pennell Cast onto the wind like seeds, my words echo in a room without sound. Acceptance or wasted breath, only the listening crowd can say. Whether I have spoke words of wisdom or words of folly to be ridiculed. But speak I did and was heard. Plant the idea, the seed in their mind and see what grows forth. Nurture your idea, give it time and energy, watch as it grows. Rejoice in the knowledge, it was your seed that blossomed that day. That spread from town to town, from art to art, touching souls. Let's call it empathy. And Stephen Pennell has a poem in the new Pendle War Poetry Collection, which you may like to check out online. And now we're going to introduce a sound piece by Lavinia Murray, which includes a very male seed, a spermatozoa penitentiary. Uh, the image is actually from a rather famous painting by Van Gogh based on a Doré painting of prisoners going round and round in circles. Sorry, 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 sorry
And now we have a short film, a silent film, by Janie Jones, which shows a couple of her paintings. Janie's a regular here on Arts Form, and she tends to film some of her curious artwork, which is connected in some way to the theme of seeds. And now our second piece by Andrew Williams. This is entitled Seedition and it's about how the seeds of an idea can spread. In this case, that spread has negative consequences for a certain king.
And now a magical sound piece by Lavinia Mori, all about an aesthetic cosmetic surgeon who tries to do some surgery upon death himself and improves death in a very unusual way. This cosmetic surgeon said, well, do you know, I could do any kind of aesthetic surgery or anything. Anyone, anything, I can make anything, anyone look better than they're looking at the moment because I've got the touch, haven't I? So, this got to death's ears, well, his ear holes, for he ain't got ears. And uh, death swung along and said, come on then, make me more aesthetically pleasing. And the surgeon said, oh, yep, good I a good idea already, a seed of an idea growing in my head. And I will uh, well, undertake a, a small procedure, I presume you don't need anaesthetic, being dead, but I'll give it to you anyway. And death knocked. Um, no, death didn't. No, the cosmetic surgeon knocked death out. Um, Eventually, of course, death would knock out the cosmetic surgeon, but we're not up to that part of the story. We just stick to where there was a procedure undertaken by the cosmetic surgeon on death, and uh, death swung out, um, you know, with their ribs swapped for vertical blinds. Marvellous, isn't it? Isn't it wonderful what surgery can do? Thank you. And now our final seed piece is my submission for this week's episode. Um, I'm currently putting together an album of sound pieces which I've created over the years and this is one of those and I've created a new video for it. It's all about a plant or a seed struggling through the soil to try and find the sun. Where am I? Where am I? 
And that's it for episode 18 of Art Swarm. Uh, my name's Mark Sheeky, and if you'd like to connect with the program, you can look up the program on Twitter at Art Swarm TV. If you'd like to submit some work for Art Swarm, you can go to my web page, marksheeky.com slash artswarm.php to find out who you can send something for the program. I would love to play your work because this program is all about encouraging people to create something and showcasing it to the world. I look forward to doing that next week and the next theme for Art Swarm, which is actually two weeks. I always say next week all the time. It's every two weeks. The next theme is South America. I look forward to that. Have a lovely week. Thank you.